Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag is the joint, where every day is payday baby. It's your girl Anita Flying High, back with another esoteric football commentary live. <clears throat> so we have Manchester City versus Bristol City today in the FA Cup. FA Continental Tigers League Cup, quarterfinals, City taking on Bristol City uh, away from home. <clears throat> City won a, a narrow. Well, actually, did uh, did they win? <clears throat> no, it was a tough draw versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa, yeah, Aston Villa ended up taking a point from Houston. Houston. Yeah. Ended up taking a point from uh, Man City. But here's uh, Bristol's lineup. And I believe via Google they were playing a four three three. But it, it, I don't really recognize any names. Hopefully some players impress us so we get to know them a little bit more. More familiar, you know what I mean? That is the mission, to get to know more players. <clears throat> Cities, honestly, I'm liking this lineup. Based upon what I had seen versus Aston Villa, um, I mean, didn't really play the players I like. But I like that he's brought in, of course, brought Kristen back. But we have Alexander back in, Alex Bruin, and Steph. All in. That's a really good. I think that's our defense looking look really nice right there. Mary Fowler's in the middle. A really good to see. Um, Angel Doll and then also um, Hasegawa, the new signing. And then up top we have um, you know really exciting Bunny. Uh, and every time Hemp and Rasso play up front, we know that's just full on pace. Pull on the flashbacks of Raheem Sterling and Leroy Sané for Man City. Uh, so, <clears throat> really looking forward to this match. I think City should be able to, you know, get back into, you know, the form they were in. You know, they're like 12 matches, 13 matches, still unbeaten. And I don't want it to be against Bristol City. Like I said, it's really tough. It's unfortunate that, you know, we kind of try to plan when they we want them to lose, but just not now. Uh, but I do think City need to find a little bit more um, energy, creation. Um, and like I said, this is the, I'm trying to think, one, two, maybe third match, fourth match coming back from uh, the break. But um, Jogs back. <clears throat> you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Got the audio on. But uh, Bunny, uh, she didn't get on the uh, full sport uh, the, the goal last time. <clears throat> I gotta figure out who scored. Uh, it was a 1 1 draw, right? Angel Doll scored a goal, and then. Was it Bonnie that scored? No, no, Diana. Diana. She got. Yeah, Diana scored the last match. And she's on the bench, so she's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, she, she probably like, well, hold on, I scored last match, and I'm on the bench versus in a quarterfinal, so she may be a little salty about that. Like, you know. Uh, but she was a player we had talked about, uh, you know, we needed to see a little bit more. Like, we were trying to still figure out what's going on, what's going on, uh, and what type of playing, what type of player she is, what type of, you know, what, how she's going to influence City in the midfield or the attack. <clears throat> but, yeah, so, um, and Mary Fowler, Hasegawa in the midfield, and Angel Doll, I think this is good because Angel Doll, um... I think uh, maybe she'll be able to kind of be a little bit more free. Hasegawa and Fowler, I feel, will be doing a lot of the um, creation. Uh, and then I, Mary Fowler, I feel like already she's an underrated um, tackler already. Like, she it, she seems to... Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> We're lighting the, the yellow candle, the solar plex cancel, uh, to make sure we stay in confident uh, when we are expressing our creativity and our our gifts and our passions <clears throat> and remember you have the spark within you this is just um uh 3d manifestation of the light that shines bright within it's gold it's lightning lights for 10 minutes also you know good energy you know what i'm saying good energy anyways uh yeah, I, I I like the I like the lineup. I like the midfield, and like I said, I like the, the top. You know, a lot of people talk been talking about. Um, well, anyway, Hemp and Kelly have kind of been like I'm not trying to say how they work, but it's like 
<clears throat> it's unfortunate they were in such a good form going into the break and then they're coming back we're like wait hold on city where were you how are y'all playing so fat you know so well and i think it's just an energetic shift that we have to um realign ourselves with uh city do as well but i think they will i once again uh the defense looks like already alex greenwood's gonna be uh oh that's that's him my bad but Alex Greenwood, Steph Horton, I uh, want to see those two are good creators. Alexandria, she seems to be um, Angel Doll, her shot. Ooh, good shot. Well done. There we go. Angel Doll taking shots from the mid midfield. Yeah, and I think she should be able to just take shots, be a little bit more free, express herself in the midfield, um, and, and start finishing some goals. The Swedish player. You know, like I said, one of our, one of our more low key players. Uh, but um, Bristol City, you know, well done getting into the quarterfinals, and you got it. I want. Ooh, they ricocheted back off um, Alexandri to to the goalkeeper. Hmm. Well by Olivia Clark, who's been called into action. Right, I think I'm um... <laughs> well done. Share this on Twitter, but everyone try watching this. Mm, just share this through the midfield. Alright. <clears throat> this Russell. She tries to put it back. Okay. Nice, well done. Alright, just shared it. Um put her. Yeah. I uh, like overall in general i'm liking the new faces back on the field a little bit different change up the energy if it's not happening with the the team that was making it happen before the break let's make some tweaks and, and see what can happen <clears throat> and we didn't see Mary. do we see Mary Carl last match She's only 19. She's only 19 to marry. Don't, it's like say it's, it's, it's a young player. <laughs> I feel like it's messed up because like now, like mentally, we're not like 19, like in that. Mentally, it's like a lot of these people were just not, and I feel like sometimes we're not there. Being even like when we talk about, oh, she's 19. It's like nowadays, it's like what the fuck is, is age really? Like, you know what I mean? what 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 is age really especially when it comes to football it's just like okay how many time how, how much uh playing time have you had how long have you been uh, you know playing football for you know professional just how long have you been playing football for and then when the young players come in it's like okay damn you haven't been playing for that long but <clears throat> how you impact the team is is in a very creative way and she's an aquarius y'all so she's going to be connecting a lot and you know i already told you we're in the age of aquarius so you know we're seeing very dynamic uh aqua like energy uh on the foot take place on the football field and, and especially in this ladies game i see a lot of the uh, a lot of the upcoming stars have the aquarius energy um mary fowler ebony uh you know like uh black stenius you know, of course your Val they don't win her you know uh one of her teammates Graham Hansen some of the superstars that we see are also carry that aqua like energy uh 
But anyways, um. And so this is what City are able to attract players like Mary Fowler, right? With a very high potential of being a you know a world class player uh, as she continues to get more you know pitch time, time on the field, and develop her craft. And uh, you know that's the thing. It's like so when they leave, they could be like right to hit their prime. So we kind of get them at the beginning stages where they're still you know just young. Um, and it's still exploring what, what how they uh, impact impact the game. How and you know they're trying to be around good players, a good environment. And since you have like a very good, uh, what do you call it? Um, I think overall like there's Bunny inside the box trying to get it. Someone free. Ooh, ball back in. Rasso. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, where the ball goes? In the back of the net, let's go City of one new wrestle. It was very interesting how that, I, I was confused how this, like, that go in, did it go in the back? The reaction was like, uh, because she was like really close to the, um, you know, the, the post, she almost hurt herself. But here's Bunny, Mary Fowler combining, both Aquas, don't forget that too, you know, they got the alien connection, telekinesis. And then, um, uh, <clears throat> I believe this is Greenwood puts it back in and then Rasso finds there we go. There we got the little little fist pump right there. Okay, okay. So Rasso, yeah, like I said, um not looking if, if Rasso leaves, I'll be really salty. Real shit. I don't think she's gonna leave. I feel like she just like came here. But since he haven't been successful in Champions League, and I think a lot of them a lot of the players didn't come to City to try to you know, be in the Champions League, but these first, <clears throat> especially uh, when we did the, remember we did the um, the roster update, like, this is the second year for a lot of these players that we signed last year, right? <clears throat> like, players like Brasso, stuff like that. Because uh, we've had Champions League twice, got out, kicked out, and versus Real Madrid the first two uh, times. And then, um, so, you know, this is, that's what you kind of, that's where we're going from when it comes to our new players. And, um, Sigawa here at Angel Doll. And, and, and Hasegawa was Aquarius as well, y'all. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. A lot of awkward energy on, on City's team, you know, so it's very innovative, quick thinking, more fixated thinking. And, and, and you know, but it could help the City team a little bit. A lot more intellectual. And they got the... <clears throat> and honestly... Uh, if the... Okay, this is good. I guess Russell scored her goal in like the 8th minute. very dangerous for the host right we did <clears throat> 10 minutes hey nice nice such options there as city have another throw in Okay, Bristol City. Trying to get inside the box. Sandy here. I think I was talking to Alien. Well collected by Sandy McIver in the Manchester City goal. The opportunity here. Inside the box, get a get a good cross, good cross in. Nice, nice. Oh, good ball. Uh, from Alexander to Ancient Doll. There's Rasso. She has ooh another one. Let's go, let's go. Rasso with the double. 
for City. Well done. Those, that was a very nice fight. You saw Alexandria cut it through to Angel Doll. Angel Doll finds Rasso. Three passes getting through Bristol City. Nicely done. And Rasso ha has the, uh, the intelligence to stay on side. And of course the pace to get there. And the quality to finish. All three. You need all three. You know what I'm saying? Rasso has it. Well done. She gets her second. Uh, very quickly. Okay, y'all know what I'm saying? We can't, oh, like I'm saying we can't lose Rasso Dog City. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better stop playing. Like, uh, I already been told y'all Rasso has the ability to be a, more of a, a finisher. Just based upon clearly, she's gonna have you know, chances like those. You know, those are those are easy. That's such a nice goal because you have some time. Uh, to think and then soon that becomes consistent and you just need a good passing you know good you need the ball to come to you eventually and on the ground most of the time which you can do it on the top but that was a really good play um uh, and good connection between the ladies oh Two zero, just like that in the quarterfinals. Bristol, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. If Bristol's gonna be able to come back from this. <laughs> you know, we all know. Fourteen. Oh. And this time, player who is being spoken to here. Okay, we got a caution here. Booked for that tackle. Now the card shown. See Rasso fighting back for this, and then it looks like uh, Kristen. She gets a touch in there. She gets tackled here late. And just like that, City up. Oh. Oh, Alright, so while she's getting this uh, treatment, now, this, now this would be also, uh, we're going to have to play this lineup again, but against a little bit more... Uh, Dangerous foe. But just to check, just to see. Because I feel like we've played Rasso, Hemp, and Shaw up top before. I'm not familiar if we've played the, the Angel Doll, Hasegawa, Mary Fowler in the midfield. And we infinitely haven't played the defense before. This is the first time I'm seeing this defense with Kirsten, Horton, Alexandria, Greenwood, and of course Sandy in the back. So that, this totally new back line. So, um,. We're gonna, ha I, we're gonna have to look at this lineup again. I'll come back to this lineup, but overall, I, I like the mix, and it's it's already you know of course um, proving its its quality with the two goals we've gotten. Bristol City gonna find a player on top. Challenge for Sandy Mativa. Just allows her team more time. There we go. She's complaining about the ball. Yeah. Uh oh. No biggie. Jeff Horton will roll it off the pitch. Sandy Mativa just 
Charging back. Collect the new ball. Bristol City. I wonder if that's like a... <laughs> All right. And Alex Greenwood will take City forward. Okay, Fowler it and uh, this is uh, Greenwood here. Okay. And then Horton and then okay, okay. Well, that that was kind of a weird. I thought she was looking for uh, Rasso. Stays in the fight on this one. No foul given her way. He won it one. Well, how Bristol City haven't caught on fully to the threat that Haley Rasso poses, and is still allowing her that much space, unmarked. I do not know. Okay. Louder than they have been all match so far. The Bristol City fans not giving up hope quite yet. But it is the Manchester City side in full control. You know, Bristol City, you see, sitting. Sitting back behind the halfway line a lot more. Good, good ball behind. I think I think uh, Ebony used to play for Bristol City. Yeah. Rasso, is is it back? Uh, so pretty easy for City. Just passing the ball around. We're gonna try to find those right passes. Good pass, Angel Dog. Kristen, she's too much pace though, but you saw the vision. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff like that, and then hopefully, balls in the box, and and we have some more goals. Uh, I think Bristol City are gonna have. I mean, listen, Manchester United have been putting you know six, seven past teams. I mean, City, it's time for City, you know, run up the score sheet a little bit. <laughs> I think maybe this lineup has the ability to do it. People may re be ready to, uh... Well, Russell already has two, so I mean... Has some tea here. Most of the passes and the, the control when they have ventured into Manchester City's half. All right, Steph, I'm just looking has you know, say, see how much time she just has just to, you know, touch, look around, touch, look around, touch. <laughs> Bristol City not not coming out to challenge, not coming out to say, but hey, you know, we're not going to give you that time on the ball. We're, we want to play too, you know. You're going to have to make a quicker decision. They're down to no. I mean, you'd rather do it now while you have the energy, right? But then with great risk comes, you know, great reward. But if you don't risk it, you're, gonna, you're not going to, you know, reap the reward for... Not risking being something of value. <clears throat> but I'm not too sure if I'm trying to think if Bristol City play in the top flight or if they're in the Champions Division.
but when it comes to t clubs like these you know just they may not have um the bank but they get to you know pretty much have homegrown talent to find those players that could potentially uh be a superstar and hopefully uh in a way you find one of those players and they stay at the club <laughs> you know what i mean because that's a, in a way that's how it's going to have start to happen these uh players that are, that that England should be full of talented players all over their, um, you know, just their map. They should have players from every town that they have a football club in, uh, a potential superstar, right? That would make that would make sense, right? I feel like there's like potential just gyms everywhere. Um, you just gotta find them, good scouting, and, and uh, I feel like England have a lot. But yeah, that's 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 how I'm trying to see that in a way. This is how the small teams can even compete if you can have enough young talent to match the uh, some of the teams like Chelsea, City, Arsenal. They have like top top players, you know, players that are playing in the uh, um, internationally, you know, in the break, Champions League. Um, so it's still really, in a way, still hard to compete. We're pretty much fully professional. They've been playing for a real long time and they have developed their craft and become masters at it. So, <clears throat> gonna free kick Bristol. Uh, but it is, you know, they're not gonna beat a team like City today. It's too much. Too much, too many stars on the field. Uh, too much power. Looks like it will be Emily Simon who stands over this one. As... Okay, so time for defense. Time for offense. Okay, free kick. Cleared. This is uh, Greenwood that clear. Russell here coming to defend as well. Collected out. Oh, ooh. Russell gets uh, Nick right here on the knee. It's kind of like on the knee ish. You gotta be careful. And she's up so all right well she's i mean we, we i guess we want wrestle to get a hat trick that'd be really nice uh we can make that happen i don't think um Long ball forward, trying to find Lauren Hemp. Olivia Clark off her lines and can scoop it up. Man, I can't believe it. Uh, no, Ellen White, you know, say Ellen White retired. Jill Scott. Oh, this is very lucky for the goalkeeper. Bunny was going to put that in the back of the net. Almost. It's like. Angel, no? Okay, okay. Let's get it back. Ah, oh, yeah, City, Bristol City. I mean, uh, they got 15 minutes. Try to, you know, put some pressure on City. At least attempt to get out there in front of the ball, stop it. But City move, moving the ball. I got like 60, 40 possession. Here's Bunny. Good run. That first touch though. Ooh, it was blocked. Goalkeeper and her teammate ran. Uh, ran into each other, unfortunately. Damn, buddy. I thought she was going to make that, but that was going to be tough. I thought maybe, you know, 
in a way, either she could have curled it or she was going to have to just, like, not met her or something like that. But, um, the goalkeeper, good save. Good run as well from Bunny. It looked like that was Kristen here. The right back here, making a pass. And in a hydration break, get some uh, water, everyone. Manager gets to talk to the to the team, see how Bristol can be better. So as we mentioned, Liverpool versus West Ham. Tottenham versus Chelsea. Ah, Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Up next on Epic Player. Oh, Arsenal, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Tottenham. So Beth England goes back to Chelsea to face a four club, and then Jordan Knobs back to face her home team, her former team, Arsenal. So I mean, honestly, Arsenal and Aston Villa seem to be very interesting based upon the midfield. I think um, Aston Villa have a really good midfield based upon what I saw versus City. Uh, so they could challenge Arsenal here. And that would be very interesting. Uh, so I may be... And that's on the 26th. That's coming up in like two days. Maybe on Sunday. Or what the fuck is today? To be honest. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> Here's another day. In the fucking matrix. All right, 28 minutes. And it will be a free kick for free kick. Hasegawa gets the foul call against her. Let's go. And I can't wait to see Japan in the Shibuli Cup. Hopefully Hasegawa gets to play. Uh, and I want to see how she. Well, one Japan. No one is talking about Japan. I ain't talking about Japan. But Japan's like, hold on, yeah, I ain't talking about us. Whatever. We are still World Cup champions, bitch. Oh, Japan's like, hold on, niggas, yeah, whatever, you know, put some respect on my wrestle here inside the box. Early ball in. Japan, like, y'all, we gonna come back. Look, strike, strike. Japan gonna come out with a really good team. It's always the ones that we don't talk about, you gotta watch out for. Here's Fowler. She takes up some space. Here's him. Him's been kind of chill. Bunny, ooh, it's a goal! Well done. Manchester City, three nil, City. Ay. Too easy. Have to find a way it to Bunny. All right. There we go. Fowler to him here. Yeah. Just puts it in. You see Bunny inside the box. Good run. Good header. Oh, shit. Three nil City, just like that. Yeah, versus City. Tough day at the office, fam. Tough day at the office. Manchester City already three goals up. They don't look like they're going to be stopping scoring anytime soon either. Well, City get the third goal here. I mean, it's just about continuing to build. You know, they, I, they should score more goals throughout this match. There's really no excuses. To turn off uh what they're creating right now this momentum especially like i said uh we're getting to, i'm not saying we're getting into the thick of it but in a way i feel like we are like they have some more um what, do call it? what does he call it uh fuck. group uh, um or uh, they have some cup matches still coming up and of course the league is still tight i mean they're trailing uh champions chelsea trailing arsenal trailing manchester united Looking for that, you know, how they're going to get that third place Champions League spot again. They got to, like, I saw, uh, you know, Pep, Pep Guardiola had a team, and they had to go, like, unbeaten for, like, 
10 plus matches. The team will have to do a lot more because they're going to need help. They need Arsenal. They need someone. And they need Chelsea, Arsenal, United. They need them to stumble, of course, so they can get in uh, a good positioning. And hopefully they don't have to wait too long. But they needed uh, as good that they took points. I mean, in a way, it was kind of good for both teams that the draw happened between United based upon the way United was playing and based upon, you know, him. Oh, another one, another one. Oh, oh, Rasso. That one goes to everyone. Three players had a potential opportunity for a goal. This is a, a their win. Okay, Angel Doll. So close to being 4 0. Really should have been 4 0 there with the space that was left for Haley Rasso. Him. Yep. Don't face up. Okay. A little chop over. Oh. Angel Doll left it for someone. No one was there, though. City getting the ball back quite easily after they uh, create one chance and end up uh, reloading re uh, and getting uh, to see another. All right, Ras will turn uh, to, to distribute. No foul given, referee says. So I was like, hey, I'm the I was like, I'm like, I'm one of the smallest players on the field, fam. <laughs> oh, don't mess with Haley Russell. Okay, so yeah, like, so since you able to just, in a way, just continue to re reshuffle and, and build. And that's, in a way, you know, you want to see it. Here's Bunny making another nice run again. Hemp here. Getting some time on the ball. Another opportunity to distribute. Hemp. Ooh, it's a goal. Too easy. City running up a muck here. Running up a muck here. Four goals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well done. Well done. Four goals. Yep, she gets herself a finish. This assist goes to Shaw here. Is uh, you know, gets past that girl pretty easily. Touch the inside, and then she hits it with her right. Slots it past the goalkeeper. Past Abby Harrison, low ball, tight angle, no problem for Lauren Hemp. Oh no, Bristol City gotta get together. The scoreline's looking already dangerous. This might be an embarrassment today. We might we might see an embarrassing scoreline. Uh, yeah, and it's tough too because Bristol City playing at home. They're they're gonna um. And then the only the only would be the only way it would be if City just you know put step off the gas, uh, yeah, and, and and not find and not not be willing to make those runs anymore, get tired, get, you know, get lazy, uh, and, and um, you know, they're gonna have the time uh, again, hemp. Ooh, Mary Fowler in the box. Mary Fowler. Ooh, another touch. She turns around, though. Leaves it for Greenwood. I thought she, she should have just took the shot. Okay, advantage played. Bristol. Okay, here's a turn. 
looking to thread it in between And what you got kind of out here is like all four um, defensive players, you know, they have the ability to uh, distribute out from the back. And, you know, I have my full confidence in, in what I've seen, uh, you know, of course, Steph and Alex. And then our Dutch winger uh, and, and Alexandria have proved to be Mary Fowler, she got to take this shot this time, but to uh, that touch. She's going to have to go for goal two. She, she can get one. And uh, like I said, it's all for City, even though the match is pretty much done. To stay motivated, uh, they have to keep the tempo. They have to, they can't kind of like start to slow down. They have to keep the tempo, right, uh, keep the energy high, um, and, and and see if they can put four more on the score uh, in the second half. And also we can look at the bench too, see some different energies and see uh, uh who else could play together well on the field? Uh, get some uh, rest to, to some key players as well. So, like, we might, we probably will see Ruby Mace. I would make it would make sense that we see Ruby Mace, Lana Kennedy, Julie. You know, some of the players that we don't really. See, I mean. We haven't seen Julie in a minute, uh, so Julie should be able to come on. Of course, Ruby Mace. Uh, I don't know if Losada is available, but as well, uh, Kennedy come on. You know, Layla. Infinitely should see uh, some of those players that we haven't seen. I I think. You know, give us some minutes. Oh, Indra Doll had so many options. There, everyone was kind of getting covered too, but uh, and she wasn't able to hold on to the ball. Uh, but a lot of good players to pass out to on that counter. Here she is again. There you go, finds Rasso. Rasso has a guy we're making a run. Bonnie, hold it up real quick. Reset. Oh, here we go. There we go. Tyler finds gonna find him. Him? Bunny? Bun too easy? Oh man, I thought there's gonna be too easy cheat code. <sighs> Unlucky. Y'all say just create the text just like that, just for just something easy like this. Lofted off the money in the air. She's gonna most of the time beat everyone, but you know, fortunately, Bristol getting back defense. Or Bunny was just not accurate with that header. Sigawa here gets it from Angel Doll. She stays on her feet too after the tackle. Another tackle. No foul given. Because they. 
he uh, stayed on the feet the first time. time in this first half Manchester City 4-0 up away here at Bristol City game being played at Ashton Gate tonight main stadium for Bristol City I'm sure it will be a big relief to the Manchester City fans who are travelling down would have set off late this morning maybe very early this afternoon and very comfortable match today the game was going to be on but that was never in question Anderson heating here at Ashton Gate. Quick race to try and get to the ball first, and it's out for a Manchester City throw in. A bit of pressure now from Bristol City, a bit more urgency. Okay, here. Alex Riddle plays it to him. Fowler again. Ooh, it's a goal. <sighs> There's a glitch. City. Oof. Another one. Another one. 5 0. 43 minutes in. City. With another one. Mary Fowler gets her first. Him, him having a field day, just dropping dimes on people. You know, she's like, I can do this tonight. I can do this. I can just, you know, assist tonight. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Too easy. What are asking? What is? What are they gonna do? This is him. Five nil city. What are Aston Villa? Not Aston Villa. What are Bristol City gonna do? They're just getting beat. I mean, I, him, him speeding that girl. She, they're either going to have to double team her. Because this is the, let me see. Him, him persisted in the last two goals. Um, No, actually, him uh, got the goal and then she assisted. Uh, Rasso got two goals. It's just Angel Doll. Here it is again. Here it is again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, over the bar. She's go. She's gonna run. What? What is this? What's going down? The goal kick. Another one. That weighted ball through. Just she. She needs help defending him. <laughs> she needs help defending. The whole team, you know, it's, it's on the ball. Five goals in the first half. You'd imagine to bounce back from that. I could ask for a better performance, first half performance. You know, get job well done. The management and their fans hold them easy, easy, easy match. Uh, not too sure much. I'm not too sure how much stoppage time we have. But, um. Yeah. Three minutes of time added on at the end of this first half. We've had a number of breaks for injuries and a few stoppages of play. Uh-oh. Offsides.
seem like an impossible task now for the host, but no, he's been word of inspiration at half time. And get consolation. That'll be their hope. Hales. <coughs> Just be quickly and calmly diffuse the danger as they have done with all the attacking runs that Bristol City have launched at them. Hmm. It's been slightly more frequent in the closing stages of this game. West Brom versus Bristol City. Okay. Here's Barry Fowler. So it's like, uh. It's slightly slippery underfoot, Mary Fowler. Stumbled a few times in the game so far. You have to go up. Asagawa here, but Russell. Oh, Bunny. Back to Russell. Hemp's open. She's onside, maybe? Oh, she was trying to cross that in, but she fell. Oh, my goodness. That's the first half. Woo, 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 woo. Five goals. Five goal city just hammering uh Bristol right there today. Uh, I don't know what else do you say? What else do you say? Really, really good defense. Uh I mean that uh, Oh hey there we go. Alien Nagmo, thank you for following. Thank you, appreciate your shout out to you. <clears throat> Five no man. I uh let's see, let's see. I guess we'll get we'll get uh more Bristol City. Y'all need some help. Y'all need some help, Bristol. I don't know what to do. Uh sub the whole team. I it's just uh, it's unfortunate Bristol City, you know, they're just not gonna be able to get it done versus City. Um uh, we're gonna look to see hopefully we get some uh match oh look. Let's get some highlights. You know what I'm saying? This is Rassel's first goal here. Angendal from Alexandria to Angendal to Rassel here. Three passes. This is the first goal, I believe. Right? Or is this the second one? This must be the second one. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that was the second goal. That was the second goal. Uh, Imp here. Our first assist. You know, Bunny. Just how, how you gonna stop that right there? Another good ball through through ball on the ground. Sure, Shaw passes the back to him, and him just you know. All right, well I'm gonna try to get past her with speed, and she's been doing it every time, every single time, and then either creating a goal, scoring herself. Again, a lot of play on this side, and of course because um. Mary Fowler's playing on the side as well as uh, kind of Greenwood. She's playing in, uh, like, City are playing in a more uh, back three. So Greenwood's playing that inner role. And, you know, you want a player like her, she can pass and stuff like that inside the mix very well for City. Um, I'm not too sure what else they're going to show us when it comes to um, this FA player. But, yeah, FA player. Shout out to FA player because... They're the first ones to, like, well, of course, I don't live in England. Um, FA player is, like, legit. Like, I can watch more well, City, of course. Uh, but back before, um, I think FA player was around maybe, like, three, four years. They've been around for a minute, I think. Uh, but, yeah, it's a great, uh, great, I mean, I'm going to say, uh, USA need that app, like, an app like that. They have Paramount now, but it's just like, you know, what is this? What? I don't want to see this again. Chelsea won this one. This is bullshit. What is this? What is this? What is this? Is this the one we better have won this one? Did we win this? I don't think we won. I don't know if we won this. Well, I see Lucy Bronze here. This is when we had Bronze too. I don't remember. Oh, sh it's been. I feel like it's been forever. We still have. Oh, I see Ellen White, man. This is an old city squad. 
Ay, 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 ay. Chelsea, Chelsea look different now. Like, they don't even play just Carter like that. Like, they're, they got Buchanan, everybody. It, it, it's looking a little different. Chelsea look a little diff, little different, um, to be honest. I don't know what the coaches can. We better have won this match. I don't know what that guy's saying, but I mean. Emma Hayes. She's got every every manager's number at the moment. Chelsea's the 201 team. Uh, but anyways. Chelsea, you know, attracting big stars. <clears throat> but yeah, right now, I don't know. I think I, for, for me right now, this Chelsea team, it don't look... They, they, uh, they, wait, Chelsea, Chelsea signed good players this year, but the team that she's putting out isn't the team that I was expecting to see as much. Like she signed the, well, she signed Buchanan, then she found, P she, she signed Pierre Siet, uh, the French fullback, uh, and then she ended up signing, um, the the Swedish player uh Kane Red and then she ended up skinning uh who else did she get um oh Ellen White here with the strike and then they lost you know Melanie Lopo she she signed a new contract with Chelsea and then also um what's her name but no Peniel Harder and um I feel like they're missing someone like she hasn't been playing Frank Kirby like that so it's just like mm. Chelsea, y'all, because she's been playing right now. What she's been playing is Sam Kerr, uh, Wrighton, and uh, I think she's been playing uh, Laura James. And then she's been playing uh, in the mix, in the midfield. Man, who the fuck is with Chelsea? She's been playing Phil, Phil, Jesse Fleming. Um, who else in the midfield uh, with Chelsea? She hasn't been playing G. I don't, I don't G. What's going on here? Is that Sam Kerr? Oh, yeah, yeah. And she's lucky Sam Kerr got that leg goal versus Arsenal, you know what I'm saying? Because Arsenal should have beat Chelsea, in my opinion, based upon the team that she brought out. You're lucky, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got Captain, you know, Sam Kerr, she's clutch, you know what I'm saying? She's got that, the Aussie drip. Uh, yeah, fuck it, hey. You know, I can't stand Chelsea. <laughs> I can't stand Chelsea. See, this was awful defending Robert. I don't know Robert, Demi, all them, and he. <sighs> uh, and then don't even get me started. Arsenal were supposed to win the league last year, which is bullshit. And I, I hate that they failed. I, I hate that they failed me. I'm like, gosh, like Arsenal, y'all were supposed to win last year. So you can break Chelsea's streak. And they failed us. And now they're flunked on injuries and shit. And um, goodness gracious, pray for Arsenal. Um, but yeah, Arsenal have a good squad. I feel like they have a good squad too. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm not too sure. Um, Newman, she's is this Newman? She's and she looks like she's going to at uh, not Aston Villa, AC Milan, in Italy. It's very interesting. That's where her spirit was uh, vibrating with. Got directed towards. She's like a center back. But this is a continental team. This is a continental. Team. I don't know. Did City win this first Chelsea? I'm really hoping that they did, cause you know. Oh, 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 it's a goal. Caroline Weir. Oh, hey, go. Man, Caroline, man, no longer have Caroline anymore. She's over there at freaking Real Madrid. Shout out to Caroline. She scored a lot of Gola souls for City. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't ever actually watch these, you know what I'm saying, to see their reactions, but it's pretty funny actually just to see their reactions from like opportunities. Oh, 
Oh, good save, good save, good save. <laughs> If that's why this that should just be a camera like uh, the camera of the managers uh oh looks like we got a goal city looks like he, based upon the way he's exp where's the goal at ellen white ellen white hemp with the cross oh poor poor oh yeah that's too easy too easy right there too easy Ellen White getting the goal here. Hmm. Hmm. Did City hold out this win? Hold on. Okay, so Lord James. Yeah, so honestly, too, United really fucked up. I mean, I feel like since United had, you know, they didn't have really a proper, um, You know, they had a lot of scrutiny based upon their working situations with the players. So, United had a potential. And even though they're... Un Was this another goal for City? Because I can't really tell. I mean, it looks like it is another goal for City. Who is this? Uh, I can't tell who got this. Lana Kennedy, Kira Walsh, can't tell. I think we need another replay. Ah-ha. I forgot who won. I don't know who scored that game. I probably have it on the on the on the channel, on the YouTube. But yeah, um, this is probably one of the finals we got the best of Chelsea. Thank goodness, because Chelsea's gotten the best of us. I think they got they won they won in the last one. They won in the last uh, the final we played. So uh, yeah, Drew Spence. I don't think she plays for Chelsea anymore. I'm not too sure. But yeah, as we know, Beth England. Record transfer fee to Tottenham now. Uh, so hopefully Tottenham are able to shape around her. See what the fuck? Oh, they had Bunny coming off the bench. Crazy back back then. Back then, Bunny was coming off the bench. Now she's our leading goal scorer. You know what I'm saying? Times changed. Ellen White retired, Euro champion. <laughs> Times, man. Times flying. You know what I'm saying? And then also, uh, like, if Emma Hayes, you know, when she gets done with Chelsea, I think that England need to actually offer her, like, an opportunity to coach after Serena if that's something she's interested in doing because, I mean, who else do you throw it to? You know what I mean? Like, who's lined up next after her, after Serena? Should be Emma Hayes, if, if like I said. Uh, but we'll see. And we, we need more... Prominent female managers that are actually successful, or like there's just like lack thereof. So there's gonna it's gonna take some time for us to actually see. Okay, like damn, they're really good. Okay, City won the final here. This is the final they won. Emma Hayes also is a Libra, and and Garrett Taylor is a Pisces. So their energy is different. You know what I'm saying? Finally got one. City with the celebration. Let's go. But yeah, City. Um. They won a trophy last year, right? And <laughs> yeah, and also Chelsea haven't been playing harder. Harder and uh, Erickson look like they may be shipped out to Lyon, maybe. Um, I, don't, I guess. Uh, yes. Damn, Steph was on crutches too? Sheesh. Got the also um It's crazy that like when they win championship they offer time some alcohol. Even though alcohol is like very dangerous, you know, but that's the thing that they offer people. It's like here, here's some alcohol for you. Like you're and you're like, damn, you, you this really doesn't. This is gonna like I'm get. I'm about to get drunk. Like you know, you just have to do it. You're handing me a bottle of alcohol. Like, and I think about it as like these are the things that we get offered to like celebrate ourselves. That's based upon the media, alcohol. Like even you, even the USA. Like they give them like, a shit ton of Budweiser. I'm like y'all trying to get them drunk. Y'all trying to get them drunk. Like I'm like. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, it's just something interesting to look at. Uh, based upon you know what the shadow government gives to ladies, uh, 
But yeah, Bristol City struggling. Struggling. That was a great um let me turn off the audio. That was a great little uh manager's cam uh and actually City got the best of Chelsea, so I can't complain when it comes to that. You know, I can't complain when it comes to that. But uh yeah, Chelsea, they need to hurry up and fall off. Um I do think teams like they need to take advantage of the way that Emma Hayes is playing Chelsea because I don't feel she's playing the best team, in my opinion. I just don't, I don't. She's not playing the best team, and hopefully, when City play Chelsea, she plays a different team, and we and, and City capitalize on that. And I think, um, you know, like I said, I'm gonna have to watch this. I think I'm gonna have to. Ah, I don't want to watch Arsenal Chelsea because of you know it was it was a. It was, it was a lame match. You had a late equalizer at the last minute. Like, what the fuck? Come on, it's Arsenal and Chelsea. This, that match should have been a banger. That match should have been more hype. You know what I'm saying? That match, they should have put on a better, like, come on, Arsenal Chelsea. Yo, really? Really? Like, that should have been a really good match. But we know Miedema and Beth Mead both gone. So I can understand that the energy was, like, not there. But still, they... Arsenal still had some big players. Chelsea still has some big players. I'm just surprised, like, the match ended the way it did. You know what I'm saying? It was a different, like, I was just thinking about, like, I could feel the vibe. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this was luck as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you tune into the internet, like, as many matches as I've watched, and as you get to, you get to, you get used to the energies of the players, of the teams, and what frequencies they give you. So you kind of just know, based upon the players that they have out there, what type of energy or what type of uh, team. You, you, it's, it just, it's just something that I just know now. It's like, okay, this is going to be good. You just know. There's, there's things you just know. And like I said again, uh, Arsenal... <laughs> Arsenal, they have a good team. They have a really good team. And it, it, it really hurts. It hurts me that Arsenal lost two of their best players right now, to be honest. It really hurts me. Like, I'm just like, damn, Arsenal, like, you lost Beth Mead and me right now? Like, damn. Like, oh, that's tough. That's real tough. It's like, damn, you were in the Champions League, too. I, man, I, I'm sorry, Arsenal. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I honestly feel bad for y'all. Like, you know, I'm like, and I don't even like, you're, I like Arsenal more than I like Chelsea. That's, that's facts. Because, of course, City's blue, Chelsea's blue, Arsenal's a red team at least. So, you know, the, the colors are already different. Um, <clears throat> um, but, you know, man, I'm just like, damn, Arsenal, y'all should have. It's gonna be there. They have a, they have such an interesting story to follow based upon the players that they have. It's gonna be very interesting to see who steps up. I think that they have the players. Kim Little's back, so I think she's gonna be a very influential piece for them. Uh, but Arsenal are gonna be interesting to follow. Um, and I heard some other things going on behind the scenes of Arsenal with some other players too. So I I seen some some, some little shadow government stuff. I was like, damn, but yeah, so I didn't, I don't really want to talk about that, but I was like, mm, that, you know, cause someone's mama died, you know what I'm saying? Or grandma died. And I was like, damn. And she hurt too. I was like, damn, you know how the shadow break be doing, you know, they be sacrificing people and, you know, to receive something like a championship or a Euro, you know, you have to give up something in, in this realm. That they make you participate in so you know they, they'll sacrifice people in your family just for you to become successful that's how they do you you end up being isolated because they built your whole bloodline but anyways yeah i feel bad for arsenal they got some shit going down over there they're getting they're something's getting remixed so they may win a champions league they're the only english team to win a champions league and then um, we could be looking at Arsenal without a... I know Beth Mead signed another uh, extension, but Miedema looks like she might be on her way out. I think this is it. Like, after coming back for injury, it's like, damn, do I stay with Arsenal? Like, you're like, oh, fuck, you know? And and you don't want a player like Miedema to get hurt now because it's like, damn, I feel like... Uh, it's like, 
and and, and we, we watched that match live too when she went down it was like no contact right so those are also not good or was it beth meets one i'm not too familiar but this is world cup here and Midamad had a rough uh she had a rough last year with Arsenal. She wasn't scoring. They had her playing with... I don't know why I'm going in with Arsenal right now. I guess because City is, you know, dominating Bristol City. Uh, I have I have Arsenal on my mind at the moment. Okay, so 28. Okay, good, good, good. Hold on just a second. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, but yeah, um, they had, yeah, she, she didn't have a really good last year, um, and then they also brought in two new strikers, they brought in Hurtex and Blackstenius to replace pretty much Minma eventually, you know what I mean, so I, I, this is her way out, in a way Jordan Ops is gone now, but they, like, they still have Caitlin Ford, right, quality, quality player, uh, and like, the, when when Black Stadius is on point, she's so good. Like when she was in Sweden, she was scoring goals like no cap. Now she with Arsenal. I don't know. She, I was really excited when Arsenal signed her. You know, I was like, man, I'm a big supporter of her. I'm like, I want her to be successful. But I don't know. She ain't really been performing the way I wanted to. And and, and we thought eventually Minima and her would sync up, but it kind of never really did happen. So like it's like ah, they didn't work together as well as we wanted. So. It, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, and so also, so you had, you had, uh, and they also had Nikita Paris, but now you have, they have Caleb Ford, uh, Black Stinius, and I think they're playing Hurtex up top, but on the left side, but they had been playing McCabe, but she's, to me, more, like, player in the back, player as a, you know, attacking winger uh, in the back, you know, like, Unless she's going to start putting in some goals, yeah, but nah, if not, just keep her defensively because she's still a lot, anymore, she's a liability uh, when it comes to her aggression. And so, you, you know, in a way, you want that on your defense a little bit. But now, and also they have now, all, um, since Beth Mead's temporarily out. Uh, oh, Mary Fowler here. She got, oh. Uh, um, is audio on, y'all? There we go. Um. Oh yeah. So in the midfield for Arsenal, right? Jeez. Okay. So he be playing Walty, and I feel like I'm. I'm, st I'm still trying to figure out what she kind of brings to the team. I, I don't really know. Like I not said, I don't like her, but I just like you know. I'm just like eh, I. I don't really. I'm still trying to figure out her game. The Switzerland, she's sweet, she's, and so you just also it's like of all the players Arsenal have, it's a Switzerland player in the midfield. They have a, a also Magnum. They have a Norwegian, and then who else? They had Kim Lutz, right? So I'm just like Arsenal. Are these your only midfield options? I'm like you. Okay, so you you stop playing Jordan Knobs, all right? But you still had Imabuchi. I'm just like all right. Uh, who else did they have? Um trying to figure out i haven't even looked at arsenal's like midfield but i know they have some other players but you think about arsenal's like damn so you have a norwegian and a, a switzerland two team you know two you know national teams you know they haven't you know are they quality i mean they're trying to get back but this is who arsenal have in their midfield i'm just like okay and you <clears throat> and then who else are we playing uh, just a little bit better, but now they signed uh, what's her name, Gio, the Brazilian. So that's very interesting to see what type of player she is. You know, I fuck with my Brazilians. You know, we we got they got uh, a new manager that we're very excited about, uh, and, and we think Brazil is gonna be able to showcase a lot more of their talents now, and we're gonna see them, you know, shine even bright. A, a lot of the Brazilians are making their you know, Marta's, you know, pretty much done. So who's the who's the next face of Brazil? We're going to find out at the World Cup. I think the Binha is, of course, you know, very, very popular. Uh, but uh, Gio has very high uh, hype around her. So hopefully uh, her football is as great as her hype or potential is. Got to see her play. So Arsenal have that as well. 
Uh, I'm trying to figure out who else Arsenal have on their camp. And they got a good defense. You know, you got, you know, you got your star, Leah Williamson, back. You know, you got uh, Steph Catley. Uh, who else they have? Ruben Roy. They have, you know, BT. They have, you know, they have, they got pretty solid defense. Uh, Arsenal. Um, you know, I just think they they did lose some, you know, some key players. I feel like they, they, they could have kept Nikita Paris. And that could have been a really good piece, uh, you know, coming off the bench or offensively just in general. But I, in a way, I'm really happy that she went to United. She's performing really well uh, and she's playing, you know, and. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really look, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I have Arsenal line up here somewhere. A Chelsea lineup just to give another good look. Uh, goodness. Oh, City. <clears throat> okay, well, I had the Chelsea lineup. I'm sure marking of Hayley Rasso would have been something that Lauren Smith would have brought up in her half time of talk with her team on too many occasions. Yeah, I think if Chelsea played like they, if they want to play Fleming, Fleming, Huttenberg, and, 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 uh, uh, what's her name? Kirby? I think that'd be, uh, Pretty decent midfield, you know what I'm saying? Because she had been playing uh, Fleming, uh, but I think somebody got hurt. I got to think some Chelsea's got some hurt players too. But where are Arsenal at? Bitch. Where you line up at, homies? I might have to get on my mobile. And that's crazy. The first match was City versus Arsenal, but that match got postponed because you know who passed away. Okay, here's Arsenal. Good. Oh, Bunny in the box. That was blocked. Okay, so yeah, so. And now Bristol City will counter. <clears throat> Manchester City caught unawares here. Kirsten Casperi marking. Looking at the team now. <sighs> and then the Imabuchi might be leaving. But yeah, I'm looking at Arsenal Real yeah, too. Like, they. They signed some players. Oh, they have a player that came on versus in the Champions League. Uh, she's like more of a defender, center back. I think she needs to play a center back so then they can put Leah Williamson in the midfield and she can help create in the mid with a, a Kim Little and maybe uh, who else they could they put in the middle with Kim Little. If, if they want to play Walty, they can't or Magnum. It depends on them. But I think you should move Leah Williamson to the midfield and then put in another uh, center back defender in the back, bring BT back in the defense. So because Arsenal are going to need some strength in that midfield core, and I'm thinking that's that'd be a best way because when when I saw um, building up to the Euros, when we saw you know how Serena was playing Leah Williamson and Kira Walsh, and they're very good interchangeably. They're very similar players. Even though we know Leah Williamson more to be a, a, a defensive player, um, she has the potential for me to be, a, you know, just in general, a box-to-box -box player. Same with Kira Walsh, but she's more of a deeper player as well. But I think they thrived off each other really well, and I feel like based upon the way they play, either one of them, depending on if one wanted to sit back, they could score goals in the midfield just, you know, 
Williamson, long range shots, Kira Walsh, the long range shots. Even though they, they, they're not really known for their shot taking, Kira Walsh is more, Williamson's more known for like, like in the box types, like getting a goal with their head, stuff like that. But they are very similar players, right? They're very similar players. And I do think Williamson will be a very good player in the midfield for Arsenal at the moment, based upon the way things are going. Um, and. And I'm just thinking about England. She's playing that center back role. But they could use her in that midfield. Um, you know what I'm saying? But we'll we'll see. If if Steph comes back, if they have like like the at the World Cup, like if Steph's back, Alex Ruins back, they could just move Kira Walsh. I mean not Kira, Kira Walsh. <laughs> I mean it depends. They he might uh what's the man who Serena may start Williamson uh and and uh, Greenwood together in the center back partnership. I'm trying to remember who who she had last. Who was at the Euros in the finals? It was like such a long time ago, you know. <laughs> but um, I mean that's just based upon what I've seen uh, with Arsenal. And you know they still have you know. I think oh so since he scored five goals <laughs> in the in the start, let me get this. this is, uh... 50s. Alright. Five goals. Oh shit, there is my paper. I was I'm thinking like, hold on, hold on. Hold on, son. Let's get back to the the notes. <clears throat> But everyone's been well. We've seen assists from uh well Russell's down here right right quick. But we have Russell has two goals. Hip has a I mean Hip has a goal. Uh Bunny has a goal. Mary Fowler has a goal. One, two, one, two. Four different players have goals for City, which is good to see. Bristol City are just, you know they're playing the back four, which is good. I mean they're not like uh given up completely like dropping back but they did <clears throat> don't have the, the the momentum let's see let's see you've got a corner here city 60 minutes practically Alex Greenwood ooh Alexandri here over the bar And also, we need to see. Yeah, that was that was that was that him? Oh, it's, oh, that was it was him. I bet. Yeah, we got to see some subs too. Like I want to see. Uh, let's get Ruby Mace out here again. Go ahead, get Alana Kennedy a run out. Julie, get him out. Get her out here. We need to see um, those players too. I'm not. Um, I have to see what match City play next. I think it's a cup game. To be honest, I think we have mm, lesser foe coming through uh, still, so it's good. But uh, Hasegawa could step in. Ooh, Hemp, she's gonna. Oh, it's a go! Well done. Hey, another one. It's 6 0, City. Goodness, goodness. So many goals. Ah, so many goals. So many goals. You know, this is so much better than the Aston Villa match, but. You know, I wish there was goals in Aston Villa match, but here it is. Money here feeds it through. I thought, I mean, one of those two players are gonna get there, but him just ended up getting the ball, you know, a little bit quicker into the spaces that got her away, got a little bit of distance away, and an easy finish for her. <clears throat> All right, there we go. There we go. There's the subs. There's the subs. So we have Julie coming in. Okay. I see uh, Kelly coming in. Okay. And Diana coming in. We got three subs. I uh, gotta see who all came off. Bunny. And we'll see who else all showed up. But this was a 60th minute goal from him. And the assist. 
once again was from Shaw. So Shaw and him combining once again. All right, we got the subs. So Julie's coming back. Nope. Kelly, hopefully. Okay, so Hemp's coming off for Kelly. Okay, okay. Or just Hemp's off. Shaw's off. Uh, yeah. So Julie was playing. Uh, you know, in that left wing position. Diana has come in for Shaw. Uh, Julie was playing in that left position for Hemp, right? And she was scoring lots of goals. <clears throat> Or at least, yeah, she been she she was scoring like pretty much every other match, Julie. So we I'm happy, you know, we need to get her back at it. She's a better attacker than I think defender, and she, even though she's still young, uh, you know, Norwegian, uh, I do prefer her in the attack. You know, saying she's an aggressive player too. She's very physical, so she doesn't really go down too um too easily, and I, that's what I like about her. And she does have an eye. She has a, a unique. She's a Virgo, I believe. She has a unique way of distributing uh, her service on the wide. You see her taking the corner too. Oh, Diana here. Uh, she has a unique way in um, distributing that I saw. But she's still a young player. And you know, say it, it, for us as an observers, it it takes time to see these players grow. And depending on you know when you tune into them where they are in their growth and in their game we will see right you know what i'm saying some players some like you know right now some people are tuning in and they only watch teams where half their players have been in the league for like six seven years they are just you know they've been doing this for a while you know what i mean some of these ladies have been just like their second professional year, you know. I mean, they're like, oh shit, yeah. I was like, oh, look. you know, I mean? like we they haven't been they haven't been playing football that long, and it's consistently. So you need consistent practice and and, and games to to continue to grow. You know, what I mean, that's just life in general. You gotta do a lot of things. A lot of subs here for um, Bristol City twenty seven or. Okay, well, they getting some subs. They getting some fresh legs out there. Prepare for their next match as well. Subs for everyone. Subs for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. I still know uh, Ruby Mace though. I'm calling for Ruby Mace. Y'all need to go ahead and play her if she's healthy. You know what I'm saying? If she's healthy, play her. Taylor. I mean, it's 6 0. I don't know why you're not playing her. She hasn't had any minutes. I haven't seen her. I'm trying to think. Did she play? I no, she might have played in the, the match that we didn't get to watch. The fucking match versus Leicester City that we had no stream for, which I was pretty upset about. Um. Because they didn't like figure that out because the match was gonna be postponed. The match was postponed because of the frozen field. But I'm just like, honestly, every match, I'm thinking in just in, in general now, like we shouldn't have like not not a stream for the the matches nowadays. It's 2023 apparently, and so the I mean nowadays I thought you know we had streams for everything. The lady we should be able to watch every football match nowadays the way they have us. Like I feel like we're spoiled now. I feel like I, I feel so spoiled now. I feel like I've, I've had so much easy access to the ladies' game, and so when I don't have a stream, I'm just like, hold on, wait, what the fuck is what's going on? Like, does your team not have this shit? Like, what the fuck? Are you not trying to, to propel your team to success? Like, like everyone has links for the matches nowadays. Now, back then, we couldn't find a, a stream for nothing. Now it's like YouTube got it, Twitch got it. Now the the teams have their own. Well, of course, they have their websites, and but the teams have their own profiles. They stream matches, so it's just like, okay, well done, well done. We're in that era now. You know what I mean? Like you know, I mean because especially because it's a sport, right? You want your brand to get out there. It better be available. And this is why I criticize City a lot. I they don't market. 
I feel like they don't market the, the best way they can. And it makes me kind of mad because it's like they're just using their popularity and their and their money. They're like, we don't really need to market. We're rich. I'm just like, that type of attitude is going to lose a lot of players. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, like we can, we can afford managers like Pep Guardiola. Like we can pay him whatever the fuck he wants. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, uh, it makes me mad because... Even though Pep's a great manager based upon his accolades, based upon... He's a Capricorn in general, so he's the GOAT. But based upon what he's done... We got some subs here. I see Kennedy, and I see Mace here. Let's go. And so a lot of... A lot of players want to play for a, play, a manager like him. Uh, and, okay. Thurston coming off. And then who else? He has been, I think, I'm not too sure. I think Mace may be coming into the middle because he had been playing her in the middle, even though she and she's from Arsenal to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal gave her up quality, she's pretty good, you know, I, I, for Hasegawa. And she played a lot of defense last year, so but he's moving her a little bit to the midfield, Ruby. So, you know, um, looking forward to seeing her, uh, you know, get adjusted to that role. She's coming in for Hasegawa. Oh, uh, where's she at? Where's she at? Mm, I'm trying to figure out what, what I was saying. Uh, when it came to um, it'll come back to me. Man, I, th I feel like I was going, I was going in about something. Jeez. Bristol City. Oh man, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, but it's also like Sun City, you know, of course like Now when now that I've been I've gotten adjusted to watching a lot of football. And just like my mind is getting into just um more um in a way like anyways, you can tell like based upon like training sessions, what players play together on the field and how they gel with each other. Like when I was watching Leon in the last match and when the subs started coming in, right? I was like, okay, so this is the team that in a way think about it. Okay, so you got the starting eleven, and then you got the starting eleven that doesn't play. So those are like the second, the second string, or the players that play together. So that's the second unit. They play better. They they play a lot more practice together, so they have a lot more chemistry together than the the team, the starting eleven team, right? And so uh, I was like, that, that makes sense, right? It makes sense. It's like, okay, this is why they have a little bit more chemistry. And so then when a a player from the second string or second finally makes you know like okay they're getting a little bit more minutes that's when we see how they influence the matches like that but um <clears throat> it's crazy it's crazy how now like my my football eyes are just different like i see of course i'm understanding the game a lot better and it's 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 very i find it very interesting uh how different teams are taking their success uh, and, and creating this overall better football for um, you know us as observers and of course for the the players in general. Um, so very, it's just very interesting, and expansive, just to see shit happen like for yourself. <laughs> oh, I remember now. I remember what I was talking about. I was talking about how I feel like we're being spoiled with all the access to the ladies' matches. That's what I'm saying. Right, because we have Champions League on YouTube, we have now we have um, in, the English League and uh, the Spanish League on YouTube, and even uh, a lot of the uh, well, the Spanish League is and the in American American League and the English League are through the uh, the dance channel, so they have their their they have Champions League. 
uh, the Spanish League, and now a little bit of the English League. All on YouTube. Eventually, they're mo probably moving to the website, but for right now, it's on YouTube. And then, of course, the, the Mexican League, a lot of their teams have their own YouTube pages for their ladies, and they'll stream their live matches. If not on YouTube, on Facebook, like Tigas do, their home matches. So we're seeing that a lot more. I know Real Madrid stream a lot of their ladies' matches um, on Twitch. So we're seeing that too. City don't have yeah, City use their cityplus.com. So that's what I use. That's how I watch City sometimes uh, through their website. And a lot of teams have websites. That's how you watch the teams. But um, at a football player is here. Uh, that one's, I feel like. <laughs> That's hands down the OG right now. Like, hands down. You got, like, multiple leagues. You know what I'm saying? All in one accent, bro. I'm telling you, like, that. We, we ain't never had Adam. Like, we ain't never had that. We ain't never had that. That's like, damn. Like, that's like three plus leagues. That's a lot of football, y'all. You know, it's like, a, it's like I said, it's like an encyclopedia. We never had that before. And luckily, we finally got that. And, like, well, from now on, like, Almost every football match should be documented. Like, there should be, we shouldn't be without any football ever. Like, we should be able to go back, like, 2020, 2022, like, from on and beyond in, in women's football. There should be uh, a documentation and actual video of every match based upon the way the game is, expo the way the game is expanding. Uh, and you, you, you see that with the gentlemen's, the gentlemen's uh, matches. You could probably go back to some of their matches. You're like, damn, like, so you can, you can rewatch that whole. And that's what we'll finally have with the ladies' games. And uh, it's really exciting because you think about the players that we're witnessing, some well, how, the players that we're watching right now. Really, really, really good players. And we're in the age, we're in the era where, you know, we, we fly as fuck, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got, we're flying, we look different, we look good and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we're really in a good era for a lot of this stuff to start getting documented, you know what I mean? Players are a lot better and stuff like that. Everything's just, you know, a little bit better, you know what I mean? A little bit more, uh, what do you say? Professional. There we go. Is that the word for it? A little bit more professional. There we go, there we go, hey! Of a city up. 6-0. We got a player down. Bristol City. Two players down. City player and Bristol player. I'm about to get so excited, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, only one goal in the second half. Okay. Bristol City have locked up their defense a little bit better. Man, I must have had a, a head injury. Who is this right here? Is that Ruby Mace? I can't. Yeah, that's Ruby Mace. Okay. Her and Rasso talking, the Virgo gang. <laughs> Making sure the teammates Gucci. Alright, final 15 here. Um, <clears throat> when it comes... Okay, uh... Okay, cool. No foul, no foul. Mary, Mary, she's. I'm trying to think who's playing striker here. Diana, maybe? Our defense looking a little risky now. You know what I'm saying? Look a little different. Bristol City look like they want to, like, you know, we're going to. Bristol City want to press now above the halfway line after all the subs. <laughs> <laughs> but here's Kelly. Um, and, and, and uh, yeah, it's crazy how Kelly was scoring lots and lots of goals for Everton, yeah? Uh, before City signed her. And they signed her, of course. So she's been more like, 
Uh, I feel like we need to kill it. Kill it, Kelly, like right before Euro. She was scoring lots of goals, but I'm trying to figure out who was playing up top. I think we had Ellen White. She was scoring lots of goals. Uh, I think, was it the final year? Uh, we had. I think it was at 2019-2020, Chloe Kelly. That Chloe Kelly. She was scoring lots of goals. But I know she was scoring bangers with Everton too, which is crazy, right? And so um, now she's been more distributing um, with her, her crosses. And I feel like she needs to give back that scoring edge she had. Um Cause she's she's the go-to. She she's a Capricorn. She she she's got the vision. She's got the skill to make it happen. Um. Manchester City turning half of their shots on target into goals. Six goals up here at Bristol City. Okay, so it looks like Mary Fowler's playing in this little in this striker role. Even though I think it should be Diana. Diana needs to play uh, that, that attacker and put drop Mary back to the midfield, in my opinion. Angel Doll, good tackle here. Or is that Ruby Mace? I, don't know, I think that was Ruby Mace for getting highlighted here. Okay, Ruby, I see you. See, the good that was a good highlight there for Ruby. You see how she got that, you know, just her touch in right there. She wasn't in, like, that good of a position. But you see, she, she got the ball. Yeah, you see, see Mary Fowler here. Angel Doll. Mary. Uh, I don't know what Angel Doll was trying to do. She like, the pass wasn't like. Oh. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay, good through. So we're gonna get a hat trick from Rasso, but here she is with the ball. Ooh, Diana here. Ah, come on. Like everyone's on side too. Kelly, her shot doesn't go in. So, sprinting first into the box. Makes a U turn though. Runs into traffic. Quick touch with Lair Alexandri. Okay. Uh, oh, good pass from. Uh, oh, oh, so close. Alexandri, good hustle. Angel Doll here. Manchester City still. Diana. Good passing from Angel Doll too. Little, just little one, one pass to uh, Alexandri. What a good run. Angel Doll here once again. Alexandri, her shot. Oh, getting all the way to Kelly. Kelly here. She got some time to pass. Was blocked. City again. Reshape real quick. Diana here. Ooh, Alexandri trying to repay the... Repay all the service. That uh, Angel Doll was giving her just a second ago. Find 
Maddie Wild. All right, another attack. Uh, Alexander here. Rasso. Engine dog. Okay. Kennedy. 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 She gets her shot. She does. It's blocked. Right, you know, that was blocked off a defender. Less than 10 minutes to play here at Ashton Gate. Nothing for Bristol City. Final, final 10 minutes, y'all. Going through to the semi finals. Good win for City. Just make sure they. You know, keep that clean sheet. You know, keep that clean sheet. They can rest easy. Rest easy. They'll be happy uh, with this performance. Uh, Rasso here, still inside. Well, tried to get it to Barry. We don't know. She's. I mean, I'm trying to think who else has a goal. I think Kemp already came off the field, so she ain't gonna get hat trick. Rassel is the only one I believe that has. Well, she has ability to get another goal if she wants one. Get a hat trick. Ooh, I don't know if Angel Doll was kept on side there. No, she wants it. Damn, I forgot I have. Oh, good step in from Kennedy here. Okay, Kennedy here. She's gonna make a good pass. Ah, okay. Anna here. Forgot I had uh, my tea. Let's go get the rest of that. All right. My tea cool. Hey, Ruby Mace wants to take a shot. Okay. Hands of Olivia Clark. Oh, Rasso. That shot's deflected. Okay, free kick. Right 
visitors. Dangerous position. Up comes Steph Horton for it. Oh, and while we have it, Steph Horton has to be best, hands down, the best center back free kick taker. We've seen, I mean, there's probably other players that, but based upon my football experience watching, she's been the best free kick uh, center back. To, she's, she can score goals from the center back position and free kicks. She's like the GOAT in that. I don't. You, you gotta name another center back that's been able to score as many free kick goals as her. Oh, what? Every time Bristol City have tried to find their way into the Manchester City half. Been four on one. And Manchester City a little bit too much heat. Regain possession. The ball forward trying to find Hayley Rasso, but this one's not too far ahead of her. And Rasso drops in. Better on the Bristol City centre. Of normal time left to play. Still Tottenham nil, Chelsea one. Yeah. Bristol City. I'm not even too sure if they challenged if they had any shots uh versus Sandy today. We got a yellow card? Damn. Kennedy. <laughs> One of finals in all city. Second season at Manchester. Still one. Really Huston with her hands on the ball. Yeah, she scored. An incredible goal direct from a corner against Lewis last week. This one a bit far out. Can send the ball into the mix in the box. Heads through it. But over the top Order. of Sandy McIver's net. No consolation goals, please. Sorry, Bristol City. I can't really afford it right now. Head, but it landed on before going out. And now Jody All right, since you have to defend here. Opportunity to replicate last week's goal. In swinging ball, headed away by Alana Kennedy. And then the return picked up by Chloe Kelly and then Mary Fowler. Julie Blackstad with the ball at her feet now. All right. Good, good uh, counter. Ah. Philip Rangadal. Angel doesn't get there. Slightly too much on it and it's out for a Bristol City throw. Mm -hmm. Jane Castellanos. Diana here gives it to Kelly. <sighs> Kelly going for the nutmeg. This second half, Manchester City cruising through to the semi finals of the Conti Cup. The whole Three minutes of added time. Up 
against Bristol City, who haven't even been able to register a shot on target during this match. Will they have an opportunity to now? They don't. Jeannie Blackstad able to scoop the ball away. Brady has been forced to go backwards. Ooh, Russell's goal. Two goals, you know. Sealed it for City, seems. Much slower second half for Manchester City, but as expected, five goals up at the break. Gareth Taylor making a whole host of changes. You see Ruby Mace able to uh, pass it out to uh, Rasso uncontested. Going forward, sends the ball into the box, blocked well by Vicky Bruce. Tripping over the halfway line for a rare occasion in this match. Hayley Rasso. Okay, Alexander and Ancient Doll, the shot. Ooh. Ah, you see it? You see it? I like it. I like it. You see the little creativity there, the little back heel flick kick thing. Ancient Doll takes a shot. Ah, I wish it was a goal. That would... You saw it getting set up, though. Good passing. From the two ladies. Since Brian Goddard, one of the players that, you know, when you look at that score line, you think maybe would have Kelly, the ball in the back of the net. Trying to do something here on the left. It's been one of the bright sparks in this Manchester City side during the League Cup so far. Final minute. Had a good chance. Any more goals? Uh, there's Julie overlapping. Wow, good from Julie. Her shot, ooh, was blocked. But you see the little depth, the little deception. You weren't too sure what she was gonna do. She, <laughs> and she still was able. She kind of deceived both players. She still held the ball. Just unfortunate for them that the deficit was already. All right. Five goals. Dun 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 dun. dun. All right, and that's the final whistle. Oh my goodness, Bristol City. Good. Goodness, goodness. City. Both cities, that's too funny. But, um, uh, yeah, Russell, uh, I guess player of the match for me. I mean, she had the first two goals. I mean, can't complain. Uh, she'll be happy. She'll be happy. She'll be happy with this performance. You know what I'm saying? 6 0. Uh, but yeah, everyone, uh, thank you once again for tuning in to Anita's Joint. Hashtag is in the joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anita, flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'll see you on the next one. This is.